Understanding Red Flags in English Hello, dear learners. Today, we're diving deep into a very interesting English expression. If you've ever heard someone mention red flags in a conversation and wondered what they meant, this video is for you. We'll uncover the meaning and origins of this phrase, and by the end, you'll be able to use red flags confidently in your own conversations. Remember, understanding such phrases can really boost your fluency and make you sound more like a native speaker. Historically, a red flag was used as a signal of danger or a warning. Imagine ships on the sea or trains on the tracks. They'd raise a red flag to alert others of potential hazards or to signal that something was wrong. Now, while we might not be using red flags on ships or trains as much these days, this concept of warning has carried over into modern language in a more metaphorical way. In everyday English, when someone mentions red flags, they're talking about warning signs or indicators that something might be amiss. It's a sign that you should be cautious or reconsider a decision. For example, if someone says, there were a lot of red flags in our conversation, they mean that there were many signs or indications that something wasn't right. It could be mistrust, inconsistency in stories, or just a gut feeling that something's off. Red flags can pop up in various scenarios. 1. Relationships. If a partner is consistently dishonest, that's a red flag indicating trust issues. 2. Jobs. If an employer avoids answering questions about employee turnover, it might be a red flag about the company's working environment. 3. Purchases. If an online seller has a lot of negative reviews, those are red flags that you might not want to buy from them. It's all about recognizing these warning signs and then deciding how to act upon them. And there you have it. Now, you not only know what red flags mean, but you also understand its historical context and how to use it in different situations. Remember, language is filled with these colorful expressions, and understanding them will certainly enrich your English journey. We hope this video has been helpful, and we look forward to exploring more interesting phrases with you in the future. Until then, happy learning!